Dick and Angel Strawbridge, stars of the television series Escape to the Chateau, have opened up about the terrifying moment when their beloved chateau fell into disrepair and they were on the edge of complete panic. Due to the stress and pressure of the epidemic, Dick and Angel Strawbridge stated they were scared their company would fail. They described feeling sick and dizzy as they battled to stay afloat. However, the couple admitted that even if their enormous 45-bedroom home had to close, they would never try to leave the chateau, only to it, in a rediscovered interview. After lockdown limitations made weddings virtually impossible and significantly reduced their income, they were desperate to make ends meet. Instead, the quick-witted couple decided to design their own tour. Their children accompanied them as they toured the UK under the moniker Dick and Angel. Dare to do it and it turned out that their presence was the only thing stopping an anxious angel from going into full panic mode. She said, If I hadn't had her nine-year-old son, Arthur, leading me, my heart was racing and I was feeling woozy, and I thought, I can't fumble in front of the kids. Dick added that Angel's transformation into brave and wonderful was a result of young Arthur escorting her to the stage when their tour began. He was defending her. He said, It was very humble— and Angel said Dick never suffered stage fright or butterflies like she had. After her initial shock, the two ultimately warmed up to their characters to the point where they remained until they were chucked out at each place. They exchanged hundreds of selfies with fans and, according to Angel, managed to avoid entering complete panic mode due to the success of their tour. After that, they returned to their 19th-century chateau in a better mood with the intention of working from home. However, despite their children's support in reducing Angel's anxiety, they weren't very interested in following their lessons. Nevertheless, Daddy's school had undoubtedly been helpful because when Arthur returned to his primary school after the epidemic, he had blazed ahead and finished finishing his maths at a higher level than was expected for his age. Dick was adamant about getting the kids to pay attention during his trigonometry lessons, but Angel thought she was too much of a rebel— to participate in formal schooling. Angel received two detentions during the first morning session and never returned. As the two continued their interview with You Magazine, Dick made a joke. However, she did contribute to the writing of the book Living the Chateau Dream, which she and Dick did while lying in bed together. They relived the sentiments they felt when they conducted their first wedding and welcomed visitors to the chateau for the first time, as well as the recollections of leaving Essex for their chateau refurbishment project. Dick walked readers through his training in rural survival skills, showing them how to identify edible and toxic mushrooms on their twelve acres of land. In the book, he also describes how he was forced to become brutal and kill the family's pet cockerel for food. Dick has taken a very active role in restoring the charming but dilapidated chateau as the household handyman, including setting up a plumbing system there. Even though the couple's path to the chateau has been difficult, including financial difficulties, they are convinced that they wouldn't trade their way of life for anything. It practically yells, don't buy me. If you look at the sewage, the electrics, and the lead paint in this house, Dick has admitted before on their Channel 4 program. In addition, the estate agent's papers listed 450 flaws with the chateau. Angel and Dick, on the other hand, made the choice to buy, and they haven't turned back since. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel, Dextrawbridge, and stay with us.